So we're getting into 2026 now. And I have thought to myself, what exactly could I make for the channel? One of the things that has been widely requested has been Python. I thought to myself, well, if you have to do Python, like what should I make in Python? Because that is like, why should I learn it? Why should other people learn it? People watching this, you know, what, what exactly is Python? What is Python? <laughs> Python is a high level general purpose programming language designed to be easy to read, easy to write and powerful at the same time. Okay, so basically Python is used to make web development, artificial intelligence and machine learning, data science, automation and scripting and games and apps. <laughs> okay, so you can make it for all sorts of things. I do also think you can make uh, like uh, mobile apps with Python. I'm pretty sure that's a thing too, even though it, it doesn't say it here, I think. And you can actually see I have something on my screen here, which is Unity, because I was thinking to myself, well, okay, I know you can make games inside Python, um, but why would I want to learn Python to make games when you have something like Unity, which is a very polished game engine that is very popular for anyone who wants to get started on making video games because it is a beginner friendly thing. And then I thought, well, Unity kind of had that thing. What was it like a year ago, one and a half, two years ago? It had a thing a couple of years ago where basically they kind of screwed over <laughs> everyone who, uh, who had used Unity for game development, even in the past, had to pay up in order to have used their engine to make their games in the past. Like they had to pay a fee for it per download of the game made inside Unity, not per purchase, per download. So if I uninstalled a game inside my uh, Steam library and I download it again and I uninstall it and I download it again, the developers had to keep paying Unity in order for that to happen. Like there was something crazy like that. And I thought to myself, well, okay, so if I wanna make a game, it would be really awesome to try and find out if Python might be fun to make a game in. So that's why I have Unity open here, <laughs> basically. There's also this fun thing that people like, keep commenting on my uh, PHP tutorial. Oh, <laughs> why would you wanna learn PHP? You, sh you should learn Python, it's much more popular. Like everyone uses Python today. And it's kind of like this weird thing where, okay, so Python is, is the most popular programming language today, but not when it comes to websites. But that was just kind of like a side thing that I, I keep getting on my channel. 83% of websites, by the way, use PHP. I think Python is like 1%, okay? How difficult is it to make a game using Python? That's my question, because I, like, should I make a custom game using Python? What, what, how do I restrict I I can't talk right now. In what kind of way do I restrict myself if I want to use Python for game development? Like, there has to be some restrictions, right? Because you have a graphics user interface inside Unity, which basically means that if I want to do something that is very visual, where I click something and I drag it inside my inspector or something like that, it has already been made inside Unity. So if I want to make a game using Python, I would have to make the game engine first, and then I can make a game. Or do we just have a framework that I can use to make games inside Python? Probably, like that's probably like the obvious solution here. Hi game, I, I've heard about that before. So we need to install Python 3, a text editor like uh, VS Code or PyCharm, and then we need to have a terminal so we can install Pygame. You can make most beginner games once you understand these. Game loop runs every frame. I understand that from Unity. Input, update, draw, render sprites, shapes, and text, and collision detects hits and overlaps. So that is from my experience in Unity, like most of what you need to use. Most. Like what if you want to animate something? Like animate a sprite. How do you do that? It doesn't say here. But there's probably a way to do that using Pygame. So basically, you create a new file and you import Pygame so you can use it. You import the system so we can actually, uh, I guess, run the program once we've created it. I do think that maybe what I'm seeing here is a little bit more for if you want to make a 2D game. Because 3D is a little bit different, right? You're going to have three dimensions, <laughs> which is different than two. 
Uh, but basically, if I just want to like have my character move up and down, left and right, I think I can do it like this. Do I even have Python installed on my machine? I do think I do, because I have installed Python mm, a couple of years ago to just kind of see what it is. So I think basically my uh, conclusion here is that it, it should be possible to make a game using Python, right? At, at least according to what ChatGPT tells me. So I think I will try to make a Python game, just like based on the project that ChatGPT wants me to, to kind of like learn here. Let's go ahead, or at least let, let me go ahead and start learning how to build a game using Python, because it does seem doable. I was kind of thinking if I should do a Unity series where I just like built a game using Unity, because I have some experience in Unity. I'm not an expert, but I do have experience using Unity. And it's been some time since I did Unity, right? And one of the things I hate about Unity, it changes constantly. <laughs> like if you learn PHP, for example, or if I teach PHP, okay, well, maybe a newer way of doing things may become available, but it doesn't overwrite the old way of doing things. Otherwise website would break essentially. Like all the websites online today would just break if they changed PHP. So they don't do that. Instead, they just add to PHP. A good example is JavaScript. When they added the uh, let variable instead of a regular va variable, right? They just added to it because the original va variable didn't do what they wanted it to. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna try this and it's just gonna be fun to see how that's gonna work out. <laughs> Me trying to build a game using Python. It's definitely gonna be a challenge because like I said, I'm completely new to this. I hope you guys will enjoy the series here. It is a little bit different than what I usually do. I am trying to move away from this very dry teaching sort of path because it is, uh, what is the best way to say this? Uh, it's pretty much being overtaken on YouTube by AI. <laughs> Some people prefer having a person sitting there teaching because it's much more warm and welcoming. And if you already know programming beforehand and you don't need to like learn it for the first time, then instead of using a YouTube video, it might be a little bit easier just to like look things up on ChatGPT. Just like how I would just Google things. Like if I wanted to learn Python and AI wasn't available, I would just Google it. I wouldn't use a YouTube video. So I'm gonna be using ChatGPT in order to help me out learning this sort of thing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time when I think we're gonna learn run the square example, <laughs> change color speed. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, I guess. Or set up Python, I don't know. We'll find out. That was so awkward, sorry.